So we've got uh, light reflecting off of the thin film. So the basic diagram looks like this, where we've got ray A and ray B coming out. And the uh, thin film has a index of 1.55 and it's surrounded by air on both sides. So n equals 1, n equals 1. <coughs> All right. The uh, thickness here, T, is 220 nanometers. So the way we got to approach this is first we got to figure out what is the phase shift of wave A. Well, wave A right here at this boundary bounces off a higher index, so it has a phase shift of a half a wave. For B, the reflection phase shift down here for, for B, going this way, it's in film of 1.55 and it's reflecting off of an index of 1, <clears throat> so it has no reflection phase shift. But then, it covers a distance of 2T, and so the number of waves in the film is 2T over the wavelength in the film, which is 2NT over lambda naught waves. Okay, now we want light to be strongly reflected. So, strongly reflected. That's the condition of constructive interference. So we're going to set the difference in phase shifts here equal to zero, well, one wave, two waves, three waves, and so on. All right, so we'll start with uh, setting it equal to zero and see where that gets us. So if we set 2 and t over a lambda naught minus a half equal to zero, what happens? Well, we get 2 and t over a lambda naught equals a half, which gives us lambda naught equals 4 tn, which is 1,364 nanometers. Well, that's no good. All right, we want we want light that's in visible range from 400 to 700 nanometers. So let's try the next solution. Let's try 2 nt over lambda naught minus three halves. Sorry, minus a half equals one. Okay, so that's 2 nt over lambda naught equals three halves, which is lambda naught is equal to 4 tm over three. Well, that's 455 nanometers, which is in the range of visible light. So that's a good solution. Let's try one more. 2 and t over lambda naught minus a half equals 2. And that gives us 2 and t over lambda naught equals 5 halves, or lambda naught is equal to 4 tn over 5, which is 273 nanometers, and that's no good. Right? And so any, any solution we try after that, if we set this equal to 3, or four or five, we're going to get a smaller lambda naught. So the only lambda naught that's going to occur in the visible range is 455 nanometers. So that's going to be our only solution for this problem.